Okay guys, and today we're covering the Retainer Short Sword, which I've seen used mainly just so they can get criticals off. I might have to get a pure bow build. Mm, I don't know. No way up high? Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Oh, enabling. Interesting. Whee. This is not very un right, it's not in the terms underused. It's just I can see why it's it can be underused. But this weapon is um from those damage numbers that I'm not gonna like shrug this weapon off as weak. Okay, I'm definitely not struggling this weapon off as weak. It's is definitely more powerful than I expected it to be and he's probably not very happy. I definitely, I definitely shrunk this weapon off to be weak. I have just been proven wrong, big time. Okay, guys, <clears throat> it turns out I've been invaded this time. Um, I'll throw the requirements for this weapon up on the screen. So, well, I'm going to talk a bit about the information. The information being, it's got a 110 counter strength, which means you catch somebody on the counter that I care off it. You catch somebody on the one kind, one on the counter. The one kind of stance will definitely take advantage of it. So it will, um, the weight's one unit, not very much, and it weighs one unit. Yeah, he's got a kill. Anyway. And the damage and the crits on this thing isn't actually too half bad, actually. And I completely forgot that you've got a, a Chaos Blade plus Critical Hit Gauntlets. Noob! Noob! I call myself a noob. I hear myself a new. Oh, now we've got. Oh, do whips as well. Jesus, this guy's come prepared. Just not prepared enough. Oh, back to the katanas. Bye bye. Yeah, we wave off. <laughs> Guys, I'll see you in the next fight. Oh, hey, good. Fights don't last very long with it. Here's I'm being invaded more and more often. So it does. Right. You buffed? Okay, I buffed it. Right. I'll throw the stats for the normal version of this weapon and the magic version of this weapon up on the screen. So, well, obviously, you got a buckler. Yep. You're just a rep of Ouroboro. I do know the person. I know, I know his build. I know his armor. Can people like stop copying Ouroboro, please? Because Ouroboro knows how to use these weapons easily. Ah, uh, walked in that one. Oh, went to the parry. Oh well. Nope. Roll catch. Yeah. Right. I see a parry coming my way. Nope. Ah, oh, the range let me down. I could have won. The range let me down. Oh, I was waiting for that swing afterwards. Yep. Oh ho! Didn't expect that one. Give me the spin. Yep. I win. Bye bye! <laughs> GG to him. Scumbag Honcho. I'm actually somewhat surprised about this weapon though. It has a 10 poise break, yet it's constantly able to poise break. I'm somewhat confused. No buffs? No? Hmm. Mastodon Halberd. That weapon is incredibly powerful. I know how to use a halberd. I know every move set of the halberds inside and out. I can, I can, oh, I, this weapon is fantastic for running people down. Do you plan on doing the spin to win? No. Nope. You plan on lock? I have no idea. You want to wing a parry? For that lovely Mastodon one shot? Nope. Oh well. Yep. <laughs> oh, I missed it. Oh well. As long as I stay close, I'm out of your weak, I'm out of your sweet spot. So take your pick. I can just keep riddling you down with this weapon. Shocking. Yeah. Ow! 
for all the, for all this weapon is it is broken. <laughs> it's not really. It's just a very good weapon to use in PvP. Ah, uh, itchy eye. That just saved my ass actually. We're gonna spin the wind. Yeah. Are you just giving up now? Have you have we given up? Have we given up? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Aww. God damn it, you're right. Oh! I win! I just jabbed him in the throat. Ow. <laughs> okay, GG to you. You turn your name says something else. Guys, I'll see you in the next. Oh, back in the iron key. Let's see what's happening. A dark buff. You can't worry yourself. What? Oh, it is buff. Okay. That's an all weapon that I never see too often. Maybe for a few reasons though. I oh ho! Oh. Damage not being one of the reasons why I never see it. Yeah, we got the better of you now, boy. Ooh! Don't spam that attack. At least the cri crits. Or at least. Slide. And welcome to the giant. Alright guys, see you in the next fight. Yeah, I saw I on this end. So it did. Well, the better you record this fight, but why not? Go on, Pete. A hovel. With an ultra great sword and paramounties. Right. Glad I had that ring thing still on. Give me a second. Okay, I'll switch to the stone ring. I don't have freaking magic map on, but I have a good job. Still does sufficient critical damage. And I can stagger a full hammer for a three hit combo. Well, now we know that this weapon makes very quick work of power. Guys, yeah, I'll see you in all in the next fight. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, right. we're back in it. One thing to point out: uh, if you're, oh, pardon me, if you're going to be aggressive with this weapon, it is definitely, definitely used for an aggressive playthrough. So it is, it is so good in an aggressive playthrough. So it is, and it suits me to the bone. Oh, I just thought I was going to party, if not. Got it! No R1 spam with the 710 damage for a crit. Damn! Remind me never to. We're going to hit, we're going to hit, we're going to hit, we're going to hit. No! Nope. Ah! That's an odd thing. This weapon's good for rolling down spellcasters. I'm loving this weapon. And we're back in a beast tunator. Uh huh. He's buffed. I think we fought this guy before. Golly. This weapon is. This is actually the first time I've seen this weapon. Here. Oh my Jesus! I do have the ability to wipe. Uh huh. Yeah, I you think. Oh, the friggin' dude stunned me. No, it's just me and you, and you're dead. Game over. <laughs> Game over.